What it do, what it do, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Dox Forever, and you are checked in to the Members Only Podcast. And today, we are interviewing none other than the homie St. Menace. Well, Banks, the clothing line is St. Menace, man. How you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm chilling, man. What's going on? Thanks for having me, Yo, man. Yo, no problem, no problem, man. Move Thanks media. for pulling Thanks up for on Move me, Media. Man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Man, we've been watching what you've been doing, man, in terms of the, the branding and the the, uh, the clothing line and and how you you know putting things together online? I, I, I'm pretty impressed by how you how you putting anything together, man. So you know, I just want to get a little bit more info and get the people a little bit more info about how you get things you know done and how you how you, you know actually start a line like that and, and make it pop like you making it pop right now. Uh, it's a lot, man. Yeah, it's a lot, especially when it's just me by myself. So facts, really, you know. So. Yeah. yeah so, so you just work as a, a one man machine. You don't yeah. got you don't got no team behind you in terms of no. not yet at the not yet, I mean? not but yet. You, you know, you building the Looking clientele, building the brand. Right now, you know? Yeah. So what's uh one what's one of the hottest selling items that you got right now that's that's like really on fire to let people know? Like, uh right now is the uh like one on one right now, really like people want custom shit. Oh custom. One on one shit, yeah. They nice, don't want nice. sign that nobody else has, like so yeah, that's that's moving right now. That's crazy. So people yeah. just hit you up, and uh, they just tell you exactly what what they want, or you you make the design from scratch and give them a little little example of what they can have. I mean, how, does, how does that work? How, like if I want to order a Saint Menace hoodie, you know what I mean? Because I see you post a lot of Saint Menace stuff online, and I'm like, yo, this is fire. I know I got you got a jacket that I'm kind of interested in. Nobody <laughs> nobody go looking but try to take that jacket as mine. Uh, so like if I want that piece. Do you actually make it handheld? I'm um, not handheld, but you make it right then and there, or you just got a couple in the stash? Nah, that's a one on one. So okay, there's it's nothing like that. Oh, so when I get that, yeah, yeah, up, yeah, you're not gonna see nobody right, with that. Let me, let me keep that on the low. Nobody yeah, gonna low. have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, jacket yeah. is fire, man. Yeah. Um, so I want to know a little bit more about the um the industry in terms of uh you know creating the line and the brand. Like I said before, like you know, a lot of people might assume it's easy because you got a lot of people that makes t-shirts makes hats everybody jumping on online and think they got a brand that's that's popping but you know can you give us a little bit of a reality check on what it takes to actually make make it run like you know to really make your brand work i how, mean how much work do you really have to put in i mean you got yeah it's, it's a lot of work man a yeah. lot a lot a what's lot. a lot like like i don't have a job yeah so everything is just the brand yeah like so it's a lot, man. Like I gotta does it make the I gotta get the the clothing, you know. I gotta make the design, put the design on it. Then I gotta I gotta do a lot of shit. I gotta package. I gotta deliver. I gotta ship out. Yeah. All me by myself. Mm. So That's crazy. yeah, it's yeah. a lot. Is it, is it get does it get kind of intense sometime? Like, is, is it stressful? Or is it all good? Like you know what I mean like. Which, how, how, how is it in terms of like really you know having all that on your plate like because you know sometimes it get crazy you, you throw out a piece nobody ain't really jacking it like ah that shit. and then because you think it's gonna work but it don't work and but sometimes you throw out a piece that you think ain't gonna work but everybody love it so is it like off and on in terms of like it's hit and miss hit and miss yeah hit and miss so, so I if mean, i was the you don't you never know yeah you make music yeah, huh? yeah. So you don't know what's gonna be the hit or not. Yeah, man. You just gotta make sure you drop everything. Yeah, that's what I've been doing lately. Like lately, I just be grabbing old shit, old merch that I just got laying around, mm -hmm. and just do what I feel on it, and just put it up for sale. Dope, dope. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. You know, like I, I just don't let no idea slip by, like. You yeah. get what I'm trying to say? Like, of course, of course. So I just saying, grab hey. some merch, whatever I feel, like whatever comes to my head, I just grab some merch and drop, do it real quick, and then I just put it one of one for sale. Facts. You know. So, so. like on a day-to-day -day process, you just like, all right, you wake up thinking about designing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, right, by now it's an addiction type yeah. shit. Like it just, it's a good addiction. Yeah, but I'm waiting for the, the hit. Yeah. Like you, yeah, facts. you know, like I'm waiting for that, for that hit, one, the hit yeah, one, yeah, so yeah, I could yeah. just keep producing that. Mm, mm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I would assume that uh, you know, 
having a variety is good. But when you look at it from a business standpoint, maybe having a variety is not good. Maybe mm. having that one Too piece. much variety is... It's just me by myself. It's a, it'll be more of a headache. Yeah, true, true. It'll be harder with if I got more products. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to... The goal is to have, like, five main products. Yeah. So, like... And that's about it. For, like, an upcoming... And rock out. And then the one-on-one things, you know, the custom shit that people ask for. Facts, facts. For, like, an upcoming designer... I'm sorry my phone ain't on silent, but... An upcoming designer... Yeah, kick that shit. <laughs> that shit that's trying to do his thing in terms of, like, you know... You know, he got this great idea, uh, and he don't really know what it takes to actually, you know, get it to where it's supposed to be at. Um, what, what's, what's a piece of advice you would give yourself... Uh, when you was before that you that you know now that you didn't know before, like when you was just starting, what kind of advice would you tell yourself? I mean, like I, I waited a long time. Like I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait so long. Mm. You know, cause I had a lot of ideas, but I just like just had them in my head. Like yeah, and I waited. Yeah. I don't know for what. Yeah, you think you're just being like what lazy or some shit like. I mean, you got this idea. You just fall, f- fell back on it. Yeah, I kind of. So what pushed, I slacked you, what pushed off, you to the limit? Up. What made you be like, all right, let me get up and do this? Yeah, I hit bottom, man. What else? Yeah. <laughs> what else going? Yeah. Shit. What else going to push you to you know? Facts. Try to do something other than what you know. One hundred percent. How to do you know? Yeah. So, but where, where's you? Um, so where's the brand? Where did it originate from? Brooklyn or? Like, where'd you get your inspiration to actually, you know, start creating these pieces? I mean, I just, well, the brand is, if you see the logo, is uh, it's my own version of the yin-yang. Okay. You know, I got an evil wing, I got a good wing, you know, I got a halo, I got horns, you know, you know so you get, you get what it is, heaven mm-hmm. or hell, you know, all that. Yeah. So, it's just... I don't so know, it, man. It like a, since I was a kid, I always, life? I always painted fucking sneakers and shit. Yeah, you know, like I don't know, like I just always did it. Yeah, and you. And then I got sidetracked, you know. Yeah. With, of course, with bullshit, but yeah, I don't know. So one day it's, you just decided kinda, to like really like it, like kind of all. This came to a circle. Yeah. So it was came like a natural it came thing. To circle. Yeah, it's natural. It wasn't even natural. Right now, I don't force nothing. I don't force it. I don't yeah. force it. It just, like I said, whatever I just think of, I just. You cre- yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, like, cool. I don't know. I mean, so that's how I know, like, it, it's how I, it, it'll go. See. It'll go because how it feels. Like, it, it, it ain't really no, like, I'm not forcing nothing. Like, yeah. It's just coming natural. Like, facts, you know, like, facts. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. It's interesting that you said the yin and yang thing. Uh. So, so that's like that's exactly what Saint Menace means. It's pretty much yeah, yeah, yeah. the yin and yang that you uh you know kind of yeah. went through yeah. growing up. That kind of inspired the the whole the whole image. Of yeah, Saint yeah Menace. of course. That the yeah. good and the bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. facts. I know people want to know what that brand mean, means. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just got off eleven eleven year probation, man. Yeah. So you okay. know, like my life did a whole three sixty. So yeah. It, it, it relate to the brand, of course, Don't big time. Know. So does the saint represent like the the clothing line, and the menace kind of represents the life that you that, that I mean, it led re- up to it. Menace was before, mm-hmm. you know, destroying and shit, and mm-hmm. the saint is now facts, um, facts. building, you know. So, dope, dope. I mean, you know, after a while, you just want to right your wrongs and shit. So, dope, dope. Yeah. so. Name a couple places I could pick your product up, man, because I know people want to know. I mean, your right? Product is right fire. Yeah. Like, you no, know, I'm gonna say it again. It's Saint Menace. I mean, that's the clothing line. It's crazy. I, I fuck with it. I'm copping a jacket that nobody else gonna have. <laughs> it's gonna be official tissue. Um, so if anybody else want to get some of your product, where they go? Uh, right now it's just on. I'm I'm getting the um, website ready and everything, but right now it's just based on uh, Instagram right now. Okay. So, uh, uh, Saint Menace underscore. Yeah, spelled out regular like that. That's it. So yeah. Saint Menace underscore. underscore. Yeah, and that'll take anybody that's interested in seeing your product yeah. or you know picking up some pieces. Yes, they can sir. Just go there and like and purchase right there. Yes, sir. Uh, DM and, me. Facts. Good. For now, until the website and everything gets going. Hundred percent. Well, Move Media, we always gonna support the homie because he been supporting us. Now we, you know, we, you know, we been rocking with an artist by the name of ESP Sammy. 
And uh Yes sir, my one, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's the one that introduced introduced me to uh the, the brand St. Menace and Banks. And uh when uh he was pretty excited about it and when he you know brought it to my attention, I was like, Yeah, this this is fire, you know what I mean? So ever since that happened I've been like, you no, know, just watching, seeing what, what he was doing. And you no, know, I don't rock with nobody that don't work, that don't grind. And I just I just could tell from that from his uh, enthusiasm about his own line that he was a grinder, man. So respect yeah, to what you're you. doing, and success you. to what yeah. to everything you're doing, Appreciate brother. You. And uh, yeah, so we going to Same continue to you, support you here. Same yeah, to thank you. you, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Big shout out to ESP Sammy though too. Facts, you know facts, saying? facts. ESP Sammy. He's the first one to buy a shirt from me. Oh, stop playing. Yeah. Okay, it's fire. It's fire, man. That's real support. You know what yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I said, any type of event we have, you're going to see uh, Banks up in there, a couple products. Uh, yeah, on, big on shout display. out to my, I'm sorry, man. Big yeah, shout out to my, to my big brother sitting right here. I'm sorry, though, man. <laughs> big shout out to my brother, man. Okay. You know Who's this? Yeah, it's my big brother, man. I knew him for about, shit, like 25 years, man. Cool, cool. So, you know. So he got he My got guardian it. angel, man. Facts, facts. That's so, a little bit of inspiration that goes towards the St. Menace, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Facts, yeah. facts. It's crazy. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Nah, it's all good. I was I was just trying to promote your brain. You know what I mean, yeah. let people know where they can pick up the fire. But um, yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm you know shut it down like that, man. Yeah. I appreciate you there coming out to Move Media. Yes, sir. You know, telling us anytime. about the Saint Menace anytime. product. Anytime. And uh, anytime. like I said, any type of event that we have, any type of online situation we have where we could promote Saint Menace because he, he's part of the family. He's definitely a member right now. We definitely gonna have that involved. So. Keep looking forward to uh, what we do, and uh, we'll yes, you know, have more stuff to uh, put up there for, for the uh, St. Menace brand. Yes, Appreciate sir. y'all. We yes, out sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm in. Yes, sir.